everyone, um, welcome back to Animation Station, your number one substitution for anything and everything animation, including TVs and movies, and a sponge who lives in a pineapple under the sea. I'm your host, Jackson Small, and if I sound exasperated, it's because we have to talk about two more episodes that are not good. But I have to cover every episode of Spongebob, so we have to go through the bad ones too. But I will say this, we don't have to talk about Land Square Pants again. Thank freaking goodness. So, let's just run through these two real quick, because I don't think any of us really care or remember these episodes at all. So, let's just get this over with quick. The episodes are A Flea in Her Dome, It's Trash, and I'll Tell You Why in a Minute, and Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob. Probably the most disappointing episode of the season. So, you guys know how it works by now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get the trash bag out of the way first. I mean, we all know this episode sucks, right? It is another one of those episodes that falls into the infamous category. It is one of the worst Sandy episodes. It's nothing but straight gross out. And the ending is so stupid that even for Spongebob, it jumps the shark. So let's just get it over with. Nice and quick, because we all know this episode sucks, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So in this episode, Spongebob and Patrick plan this big coming home party for Sandy, because she was visiting Texas. So, they have the party, and suddenly Sandy starts itching up a storm, and she finds out that she has a flea. So what happens? Well... She scratches at it for a while, then she gets a flea collar, and then it bites Patrick. And then it jumps to Spongebob. Oh, and I almost forgot this disgusting image. I'm not going to put it on screen because I don't want to make you guys puke, but there is a scene where right before the flea jumps off of Sandy, we have to see this disgusting disgusting image of this flea spreading its eggs on Sandy's skin. Yeah, it's as gross and uncomfortable and disgusting as you can imagine. And then they all get bit by a whole big swarm of fleas and then Patrick blames Sandy, and then they try to drown the critters by opening Sandy's tree dome and laying the water in, but here's the thing that makes zero sense. Apparently, the entire ocean, not just Bikini Bottom, the entire ocean, somehow, some way, fits into Sandy's tree dome. Even by Spongebob standards, that makes zero sense. And if that wasn't bad enough, if you don't like the gross out, then the episode's just plain boring. Like, literally almost nothing happens. I mean, is there anything good? Well, I do like the joke about uh, Patrick spitting out a perfectly Texas-shaped cake. That part was funny. I'll give it that. But, that's it. I don't know why this episode was made. Honestly, it's not really one that you have to watch if you don't want to. And honestly, I recommend you skip it. Avoid it. Especially if you are one of those people that hates bugs. Because otherwise, this episode is going to, for lack of a better term, get under your skin and possibly make you puke. So... Yeah, this episode sucks. We all know it sucks. It's a 3 out of 10. Let's move on to Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob. Welcome to the most disappointing episode of the entire season. It's not a bad episode, no. But its concept sounded amazing. Let me give you the basic gist. So, Merman and Barnacle Boy are promoting the Krusty Krabs kitty meal. Weird thing that's going to come back in season 7 or 8. And in order to 
try to get people away from the Krusty Krab. Plankton uses mind-controlling uh, dandruff lotion thing, one of his weird experiments, and uses them as mindless zombies, and they have to fight Spongebob. Spongebob having to fight his idols. I mean, come on, you cannot tell me that doesn't sound like a cool episode on paper. So what does this episode do with that concept? Literally nothing. It blows the concept in every single way possible. To the point where it is just flat boring. I mean, it's not offensively bad. The fight scenes are okay. And I've seen worse episodes of this show. Trust me, we're not even to the worst season of this show yet, but... Oh my freaking goodness, is this episode boring. In fact, I didn't even remember it until I just rewatched it right before filming this video. Because it's so forgettable. And again, it had such an amazing premise, and they did absolutely nothing with it. Highlight of the episode is the advertisement for the Krusty Krab in the beginning. Because if it fools you into thinking it's a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode, but it's actually just a promotion for the Krusty Krab. That's a nice subversion of expectation. It did make me laugh, and it was kind of cool. So, yep, good on crabs. That was a pretty good marketing strategy. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, final verdict, 5 out of 10. Average episode. They could have done so much more with it, but it's season 5, so of course they did nothing. Alright, let's move into final thoughts. No rankings. Neither of them deserves any praise whatsoever. Yep. Another rough one, to say the very least. Not a whole lot to really say. Um, Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob is technically the better episode of these two, but I don't even want to rank them, because they're both boring, and while only one episode is bad, in my opinion, both of them suck. So, yeah, that's the end of the review. Screw both these episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos almost every single day. And stay tuned, because we still have a good bit left to go with this season. And thankfully next time, we are going to get back into some pretty good episodes. So, I'll see you next time for Le Big Switch and the surprisingly great Donut of Shame. Yeah. Yeah. We can't take it anymore, the time has